Welcome to another episode of PSRE Science Made Simple. I'm Vanessa, and I'm a PSRE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of electricity. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 2. Study the circuit diagram below. So whenever we have a circuit diagram, what I will teach my students to do is to trace the path of electric current. Let's look at this diagram over here. Where does electric current come from? We say that the batteries produce electric current, so we should start tracing from the batteries over here. Let's take a highlighter and trace from this terminal of the battery over here. Electric current will then flow through the wires through bulb Y. And at this point, where should electric current flow? Should electric current go up or should electric current go down? I will always remind my students that when electric current flows up from one terminal of the battery, electric current has to return to the other terminal of the battery. So over here, electric current should flow up through the wires through bulb X and then return to this other terminal of the battery. Is this the only way electric current can flow through this circuit? No, we see that there is another possible circuit electric current can take. So let's take a highlighter of a different color to trace this other circuit. Electric current will flow through the wires, through bulb Z, and return to this other terminal of the battery over here. Let's take a look at this question together. Which of the bulbs will remain lead when bulb Z fuses? What does it mean when the bulb has fused? This means that there is now an open circuit with bulb Z, and now there is a gap in the blue circuit. Which circuit is bulb Y on? Bulb Y is on the red circuit. Is the red circuit still working? Yes. This means that electric current can still flow through bulb Y and bulb Y can still light up. As for bulb X, electric current can still flow through the red circuit which bulb X is on, so bulb X can still light up. So which bulbs will remain lit when bulb Z fuses? Bulb X and Y will still light up. So the correct answer should be option 3. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!